In the vise, we have a fork of a 2004 GSXR 1000. Now, in this particular case, and for this model, the forks are pretty much the same from 2003 to 2008 in terms of design, the way it looks, the DLC coding, etc. So what we're going to do applies to those entire year ranges. In 2009, they went to the big piston fork, which obviously we have a separate download for that. What we're going to do with this particular fork is a fork oil service. Now, in doing just a fork oil service, we don't need to know where the rebound adjuster is nor where the preload adjuster is because we're not going to touch them or change them. We're quite simply going to change the oil. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and unscrew the fork cap from the outer tube. Make sure that the cap is completely loose. Pull the leg up and down so we know we're free of the threads. Remove the fork from the vise and then we'll pour the oil into a ratio right so we know what volume we're getting of oil from the fork. We've basically trying to empty all the oil out of the fork itself, but there is a cartridge inside the fork. So now we need to bleed the oil out of the cartridge itself. Now to do that, we need to screw the cap in by hand back into the outer tube. We only need to go a few turns so that the cap and the outer tube are firmly locked together. Now you're going to take a rag, put it on top of the fork, and we're going to put the fork on the floor. So what we're going to do is bounce the fork up and down, or exercise the fork as we say, to get all the oil out of the inner cartridge. So you're going to have to go through the steps several times. Screw the cap in to the outer tube, bounce the fork up and down, exercise it, unscrew the cap, drain the oil. Go through that literally five, six, seven times until you have nothing but just slow drips coming out of the fork. Now we've put the fork back in the vise, the cap is still loose. You're not going to get 100% of the oil out of the fork, but if you go through the exercise of the fork stage several times and get as much oil out, you'll probably get at least 90% of the oil out of the fork. If you want to get as much as possible, then you need to hang the fork overnight, let it drip into the ratio right, and that will get you 99.9% .9 of the oil out. Remember, this is just a quick fork oil change. So you choose what you'd like to do in terms of what you get out. Now through that exercise, we got 375 cc's of oil out of this fork. So that is what we're gonna put back in. So we'll recycle the old oil, then we'll fill the ratio right with new 10 weight oil, which is what this fork calls for, to 375 cc's. Now make sure your ratio right is completely clean before you pour the fresh oil in. Many manufacturers make oil weights in different colors, so don't be thrown off by the color of the oil. This is 10 weight, it just happens to be blue. So we need 375 cc's in the ratio right. Now we're gonna take the oil and pour it into the fork. But when you pour the oil into the fork, keep your eye up on the upper level to make sure that it's not backing up and then going to pour all over you and the floor. So pour the oil in slowly, but look inside the fork to check on the oil level. Now before I screw the cap back into the outer tube, I'm going to grease it very gently with just a small amount of grease. That way when it comes apart again, it'll come apart nice and easy. Turn the cap backwards until the threads engage and you'll hear and feel them clunk into place. Right there. Now we can go ahead and engage the thread clockwise and snug the cap to the outer tube. 
Now in terms of tension on the fork cap itself, you'll get to the point where it bottoms out and I usually go maybe a 32nd of a turn more, I mean just a tiny amount. The fork cap itself and the tube are clamped by the upper triple clamp right in this area. So it's never going to come loose, it can't back out because the upper triple clamp is binding the two together. Let's turn the fork upside down in the vise because now we need to go ahead and clean the DLC coating the fork leg itself. Now normally with this part of the service we take some four 600 grit sandpaper and clean this area because it's usually a chrome tube. But in this instance with the DLC coating we don't have that chrome tube. It's obviously got a very specialized coating to it. So all we can do is clean this very thoroughly with any kind of Windex, Simple Green, any kind of glass cleaner will work just fine to clean all of this off. Now the last thing we do as part of the fork oil service is grease the fork oil seals. Get some grease in there. So the first thing we need to do is loosen and then remove the dust seal from its current position. Now you can use a tiny amount of seal grease that's specifically made for motorcycle forks. I use high temperature wheel bearing grease because it's really durable and you need a very tiny amount. I mean a minuscule amount. Hold it against the fork tube and then spin the leg around to get the grease evenly distributed on the DLC coating on the fork leg. Now we'll take the fork leg out of the vise and put it back onto the floor. Now at this point in time we need the fork oil seal to grab some of the grease. So we're going to gently exercise the fork four or five times up and down. And then one time we're going to lean on the fork really heavily and aggressively and quickly depress the fork. That will cause the fork oil seal to flare slightly, grab the grease and take it back in. Now the fork's back in the vise, the same way around. We're going to wipe off the excess grease from the DLC coating. Now we need to put the dust seal back into place on the outer fork tube. Inspect the fork outer tube and make sure there's no daylight, no gap between the dust seal and the outer tube. Now we need to put the fork back on the floor because the cartridge is full of air and we just put fresh oil into it so we need to exercise the fork 12 to 15 times to get all the air out of the inner cartridge. Now that completes the basic fork oil service on the Suzuki GSX-R1000 fork. Now that you've done that, don't forget the other leg, so go get that. As always, we thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.